All right, so let's say you have animation ready, you need to export it. So when you click on uh, animation you created and select export animation, um, this is the window that will appear. So here you have like many different tabs and I'm going to explain each of them. First one is the resolution. So you can, you know, like ch um, check here the width and height, you know, uh, frame rate, or you can choose, you know, where you would like to um, export your file. Uh, in the content part, you can hear, as you can see, there are like many options like focus time, task resources, etc. So, for example, here we are just showing the image here, a logo, and then we are we are showing the 3D model. But you you can also show timeline, for example, you know, like months or whatever you like to show. You can show activities. You can show resource names, so it really like depends what you would like to show in the animation. The third one is the image. So again, here you can you know uh, upload logo, for example, and it will be the for the whole <laughs> for the entire video. You can choose a soundtrack if you need to. A uh, game chart option. Well, you can choose you know like font size or header font size, etc. Of the game chart. In the focus time, you will see these options. So you can display weeks or maybe months or dates, you know, uh, however you like to show. Uh, this is the timeline. So again, you can choose the start and end date of the project, but you can also choose like different uh, days as well. For example, you will just create a video for the, for the following six weeks, okay? So you can choose the uh, specific days and then create an animation for that time period only. And the last one is the textual frames. And here again, you can just type anything. For example, in that uh, benchmark room example, you can just type here, you know, like benchmark room. And then in that small video on the corner of the video, uh, corner of the animation, you can say, you know, benchmark room, and then this is, you know, the small video of the benchmark. So if you need to add like any text that allows you to do it. So that's all for the basic steps. So what we learned is the overview of the 4D planning, the basic steps of creating a 4D plan, and how we can synchronize, update, and create animation after we create our for the schedule. So that's all. I uh, hope you like it. If you have any questions, um, these are the contact details. So hope you like it. Thank you very much. Any questions, let me know.